basically my brother came to visit me and saw that I was really happy in my job, but there was something missing. There was something just wasn't, wasn't clicking, wasn't there. So I had a little moment, a little breakdown uh, in yeah. so, of sorts with him and uh, just fully opened up to him. And I think when he returned back to Ireland, he just said, I've got to do something for my brother. My brother's in need and I want to do something for him. What did he do? So basically, my brother's a great man, knows everyone, and doesn't take no for an answer. And that gets you an awfully long way in life. Yeah. And basically, we, we uh, through many, many different factions, many different avenues, we came up, well, we didn't come up, but we, we, we were part of uh, the, the movement of sure. rugby eye protection, rugby goggles, which came into fruition in January 2014 through what they were known as the IRB previously and now yeah. World Rugby which means that they, the goggles allowed you to do what as a So player? it is a trial, a trial period yeah. to see if these rugby goggles, um, they have two functions. One is for protection, which I would use to make sure nothing happens to my good eye because unfortunately when I, ret when I returned back to play after, my, after the initial accident, I was gouged in my, oh, my, my, my bad eye. If someone has so it in for your eyes. I someone you. has it in yeah, there, yeah. Uh, unfortunately. So that's the reason I wear them. But some kids, uh, some kids as well with uh, corrective lenses can't actually put them in. So they need, uh, they need these the goggles to, to help with vision. But mine is solely protection. And Italian international rugby, as well as I presume club rugby, say, we'll take part in this, if you like, experiment. You're allowed to wear it if you, if it, if it, if you, if you want to. And, and is that how you ended up on the national, the Italian national side? Is that, is that what happened? Yeah, um, so the goggles arrived in 2000 and, uh, 2014, January. I played my first game in uh, March 2014 with the club that I was um, training, that I was training at the time, so the third division, the yeah. lowest level of Italian rugby. So guys were, you know, good pop bellies, cigarettes in the oh, mouth. One of those, yeah. One yeah, of those. Yeah, yeah. So that was my, my first experience back after three years yeah. of, yeah, of, good of practice, playing. Yeah. It was good, and it was basically just to see, see if the goggles were safe, first yeah. and foremost for me, for other players, and if they worked. Uh, all those things uh, went for me. Subsequently, I moved on, and now, yeah, I have just finished currently my second season with Benetton Treviso who are the main, uh, one of two main Italian rugby teams that compete in the Pro 14. And in November, I you know, realised a dream. Um, because I have lived there for three years, I, I'm eligible to play for, for the, the country of Italy. I played for Italy at international uh, level that, against Fiji. That is uh, outstanding. Fiji. It is absolutely outstanding.